Hello, neighbors. I'm Ron Frederick, and I am honored to serve as your mayor. This is the 2024 State of the City. In 2024, we will fully acknowledge our neighbors, the Nisqually tribe. All of us in DuPont live on historic Nisqually land. The following acknowledgement was written by the Nisqually tribe. We acknowledge that this land and water is the traditional territory of the Squally Apps people. The Squally Apps people are of the modern day Nisqually Indian tribe. The surrounding mountains, valleys, shorelines, and waterways are imbued with their presence. We seek to nurture our relationship with our Coast Salish neighbors and our shared responsibilities to this place, their homelands, where we mutually abide. In this brief video, you will hear about the accomplishments in 2023 and what we are looking forward to in 2024. I am very proud of the work done by our city staff and our city council. We are working together to keep DuPont the best place to live in the state of Washington. In October, I met with mayors from all over the state, listened to the problems faced by other cities, and was reminded how fortunate we are to live in DuPont. At this time, the city council will introduce themselves, and then we will hear more about the work being done in the city of DuPont. As we come to a new year, we bring forward new planning and vision. DuPont continues to evolve in many capacities, but there's still more work to do. My goal for 2024 is to continue to foster a community-centered approach and advocate for the needs of the city. We must be innovative and proactive in finding ways for DuPont to thrive and maintain a healthy and functioning place to work and live. My message to citizens is to embrace the power of what your voice and your ideas and vision have to offer. Leading is not limited to titles, which is why we cannot do this work without you. You are a priority, and I'm here to support and meet your needs to the best of my ability. Keep us humble and honest. Hello, I'm Mike Winkler. It's an honor to serve on your city council. It's a pleasure to work with our mayor, my fellow council members, our staff, and with all of you, the residents of DuPont. I would like to thank all of our volunteers that make DuPont a great place to live. It's your volunteer work that makes it possible for us to do our events and to plan for the future. I'd like to give a special thanks to the volunteers serving on our various commissions and our staff who work closely with them. If you're not already doing so, I urge all of you to consider serving on one of our commissions or to volunteer in other areas that you feel most comfortable with. Again, thanks to you, the volunteers that make DuPont a great place to live. Hello. It continues to be an honor to serve our citizens in DuPont. I would like to thank everyone who has attended council meetings, participated in the planning commission's work, and provided input into the Parks and Recreation Commission's work. Our city works best when there is citizen involvement. Briefly, here are some of the highlights of 2023. The former State Farm property was rezoned to include residential units and small business enterprises. To improve safety and reduce vandalism, cameras were placed in our parks. New playground equipment was also added. To protect our children who cross Center Drive walking or biking to and from school, traffic cameras were installed to slow down speeding cars. I realize this is a controversial issue, but they were installed to protect our children. To help celebrate our diverse history, volunteers created and installed a Buffalo Soldiers exhibit in our local museum. And as we move forward into 2024, I hope we have more citizen involvement. Your voice and actions matter. Happy New Year and thank you. Fellow DuPont friends and neighbors, as I reflect on the 20 years of service to DuPont as a council member and deputy mayor, I would like to highlight some of our achievements. I was pointed, appointed to the City Council in July of 2003. It was a time of many changes. From 2000 to 2004, we had three different mayors and 11 different council members. We hired experienced staff to help guide us through this time of growth in DuPont. 
In 2003, our population was approximately 3,200 people, and by 2010, it was in excess of 9,000. Today, it is over 10,000. During the first part of my tenure, the biggest priority was trying to catch up with growth. The city's facilities were inadequate. The fire department was a volunteer career program. To address response times, Quadrant built a house on Shaw Street as a satellite fire station. The police department was in the current barber shop on Barksdale. The public works department staff worked out of the shop building on Levere's. Because of the fast growth of DuPont, Quadrant Warehouser had to address the legal need of concurrency. Facilities had to keep pace with growth. In 2005, the city negotiated the acquisition of the five acres known today as the Civic Center. Following public process in 2006, the city hall and public safety buildings were completed in early 2009. The city secured financing through certificates of participation and refinanced in 2015 through general obligation bonds, saving the city a million dollars over the life of the contract and increasing the city's bonding rating from A to AA+. Over the years, we have added bathrooms to Clock Tower Park, a dog park, a new playground, and equipment to many parks. And finally, in 2023, we were able to give Public Works the shop and offices they have needed for so many years. It has been my pleasure to work with devoted staff, five mayors, four city administrators, and approximately 20 council members. Service on the council is both hard and deeply rewarding. I treasure the relationships and accomplishments. It has been my pleasure to serve the citizens of DuPont. Hello, I'm Tom Wargo. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to the citizens of DuPont for your faith and confidence in me to represent you on the DuPont City Council. I also want to thank Penny Coffey for her many years of service and dedication to our community while serving in position number four. Her commitment to our city has been nothing short of outstanding. My wife Janine and I have lived in DuPont since 2007 and raised four wonderful children in this community. I've been involved in youth sports programs for 15 years and currently serve on the Patriot Athletic League Board that runs our baseball and softball activities here in DuPont. I am invested in this community, and I know that every decision I make will have not only a direct impact on my friends and neighbors here, but also my family. We have many challenges in 2024. We have to balance growth and commercial interests while ensuring DuPont's unique character. Our parks, trails, and historical areas gives us an identity like no other community. We need to preserve and improve them. Safety is a top priority, and I am committed to ensuring our community has the resources it needs to ensure our families, our friends, and our neighbors feel safe and secure at all times. After serving in the military for nearly 30 years, I'm excited to continue my passion for public service here in DuPont, and I am looking forward to working with the city council, the city staff, our many local organizations, and our business community to ensure DuPont is a city of choice in our region. Thank you. Thank you to the citizens of DuPont for allowing me to serve as a council member once again. I was proud of all we accomplished as a council during my two previous terms, and I'm excited to bring positive changes and growth to our cherished community. My priorities remain the same. Public safety is always first, followed by managing the city budget with accountability and transparency. Finally, I want to protect your quality of life, advocating to preserve the natural beauty and rich history of DuPont. I look forward to working with the current council, mayor, and city staff. It's been my honor to serve as your council member since 2019. And over the past four years, I have tirelessly supported our public safety and community development efforts. I remain focused on improving the quality of life for all DuPont residents as well as the economic growth necessary for our community. Thank you for remaining connected and collaborative with your DuPont City Council. Hello, Happy New Year DuPont citizens. As we enter 2024, I hope this message finds all of you healthy and happy. The holidays are always such a wonderful time of the year and as we move forward into a new year, 
I often find myself excited to start January off with reflection on the past and optimism for the future. In the words of the great Maya Angelou, when we know better, we do better. As I wrap year two of serving on the DuPont City Council, I am mindful of the power of Maya's words and have taken my role as your city council person seriously. Learning, asking questions, and making sound decisions that benefit our city now and into the future. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity to serve as we ensure our community remains safe, inclusive, and welcoming. Now I'd like to take some time and give you an update on each department. The Human Resources and Risk Management Department earned the 2023 Well City Award, resulting in a 2% reduction of employee health care premiums for 2024. The department also earned the Loss Control Champion and Engaged Member Award due to our citywide risk management and workplace safety improvement efforts. We processed 219 employment applications, conducted 71 interviews, and improved our recruitment time to hire by 28%. The legal department continues to press our legal case in a nationwide lawsuit to financially hold those responsible for contaminating our city water sources with perfluorinated or PFAS chemicals. In 2023, the department maintained the old Fort Lake moratorium, allowing the Public Services Department to continue its important work in re-envisioning the best use for this district. The Community Relations City Clerk Department welcomed a full-time executive assistant in 2023. Community outreach has increased and the Mayor City Council report was revamped to a weekly newsletter now called Weekly Bits and Bytes. Also in 2023, the city's website redesign started and will be complete by early 2024. The department increased efficiency with utility billing lodging tax, and municipal applications all fully being paperless. The Emergency Operations Center audiovisual system was upgraded and is now a functional EOC and a hybrid meeting site. The Finance Department maintained the city's AA plus credit rating with Standard & Poor's and also maintained the revenue bond AA credit rating. The department managed the lodging tax budget and grants over 10 million in accounts payable or invoices were processed and over 560,000 in accounts receivable invoices were processed. The department tracked and audited expenses for the U.S. Treasury and State Auditor's Office. We also assisted the State Auditor's Office with the two-year audit of 2021 and 2022 and assisted the Federal Audit Office with an audit of the fire grant. Lastly, the department submitted unclaimed property to the state of Washington. In 2023, the city of DuPont hired a new fire chief. The department received a grant of $25,000 for much needed PPE. The department recertified four EMTs and wildland firefighter red card members. In 2023, the department filled all approved positions. This includes three paramedics and one firefighter EMT. Last December, we began utilizing one of these paramedics as a rover. This will help reduce overtime and continue to meet Pierce County's 90% paramedic coverage requirement. In 2023, the police department held a successful seven-week Citizens Academy. In partnership with the Tacoma Community College, we hosted Danish college and high school students as part of an international educational and cultural exchange, introducing them to American law enforcement. The department also coordinated and hosted a community town hall addressing the growing risks of fentanyl with the Stellicum School District and Drug Enforcement Agency's Seattle Field Office. The department also initiated several crime prevention and community policing programs, including Catalytic Converter Theft Deterrence Program and free steering wheel locks to combat stolen vehicles. We also joined the Metro City SWAT team comprised of six Pierce County police agencies. The Public Services Department hired an in-house city engineer instead of relying on a third-party consultant, and the special sidewalk crew was absorbed into Public Works' ongoing operations. The Public Works Maintenance and Operations Division completed a resurfacing project between McNeil and Exit 118 on Center Drive. 
The design for resurfacing center drive between power line and palisade is 90% complete. The new public works facility was completed in 2023. A traffic study for McNeil and Wallace is underway to identify improvements for both neighborhood and city road safety under design with implementation scheduled for 2024. We completed tree trimming on Center Drive for improved sight distance. We also responded to numerous reports from residents about trail and park maintenance and signage relating to public safety. Public Works Water Division published the Consumer Water Quality Report in February 2023. This report provides information on the source of the city's water, a description of the water system, and information on testing results. We completed a water valve distribution exercise and maintenance for the city's water valves, which is a requirement of the city's water comprehensive plan. The division stayed under the state action level guidelines for PFAS, minimizing levels of exposure in the city's drinking water. The PFAS treatment facilities design and contracting were completed and construction will begin in 2024. We achieved water conservation by monitoring water production, working with central control for irrigation and timing of wells. The Stormwater Division conducted inspections of city storm ponds and private stormwater facilities. The department continues to educate the community on how to reduce stormwater pollution and the benefits of keeping our water clean. In 2023, we completed a stormwater management report, which provides information on compliance with the city's National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, NPDES permit. We also received a grant from the Department of Ecology to repair our street sweeper and fund stormwater activities. The Parks and Recreation, Tourism and Museum Department successfully hosted 10 farmers markets throughout the season. The department also collaborated with the home course to host the United States Golf Association National Championship that attracted the top female golfers throughout the world and had our hotels booked for 14 days straight. In addition, we hosted a concert in the park series throughout the summer that welcomed members of our local community as well as visitors from out of town. In 2023, we held our annual auction that generated just under $20,000 for youth, adult, and senior programming. The much anticipated new playground equipment at Sellers, Clock Tower, and Edmond Village was installed. We managed youth basketball and baseball with the leadership of Patriots Athletic League and hosted eight special events for the community to enjoy throughout the year. We also updated the 2014 Parks Master Plan. Lastly, we hosted our annual 4th of July celebration, which included a parade, celebration in the park, and fireworks show. The Building Permitting and Planning Division permitted the new Sealy Mattress Manufacturing Warehouse in the vacant Intel building. We went live with most permits on our online portal, SmartGov, improving and simplifying the application process. In 2023, we fast-tracked permitting of three houses involved in a fire to get families back in their homes as soon as possible. We are currently updating the old Fort Lake sub-area plan to ensure future development remains consistent with the community's vision for DuPont. We finalized a master plan for the Patriots Landing vacant land to include future development of new residential units. In closing, I want to thank the city staff volunteers and the citizens of DuPont. You make this city what it is. 2023 has been a busy year and we continue to work hard and strive to make DuPont the best city. Thank you.